क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लेंथनोइड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एज वेल एज वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इट्स कॉजेस एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ द लेंथनोइड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड व्हाट आर दोस लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दैट इन दिस टॉपिक So friends, here we are going to talk about the effects of the length of contraction. So starting the first one, that is, we can find that is there is a decrease in the basicity. For example, if I am talking about that is length of that is L A plus three I N, and suppose if I am talking about that is lutetium, that is that also plus three I N. So the previous topic also we have discussed that is there is a size decrease or there is a, that is atomic size decrease of that is ten picometer, and there is an ionic size difference of that is that is what we have observed in the previous topic. But now, let us understand that is what is the effect of the length of contraction on the basicity. So since we are moving from left to right, that is from length to notation. So in that case, we can observe that is the atomic size it goes on decreasing along with that of the ionic size it goes on decreasing. So because of that nature, what happens is this L three plus ion. Suppose if it forms, that is, length of hydroxide. And in this case, suppose if lutetium is forming. Lutetium hydroxide. So, if we talk about the atomic size, we understood that is the La three plus ions, that is the lanthanum three plus ion, is having more atomic size, a larger atomic size compared to that of the lutetium, which is having a lower or less atomic size compared to that of the lanthanum. So, because of that reason, the bond between this metal and this hydroxide is basically ionic in nature. While here, basically, we can find that is. The bond between the lutetium and the hydroxide ions are basically covalent in nature, and that's the reason we can say that is the ionic character of the metals it goes on decreasing if we move from left to right, that is from lanthanum to lutetium, but the covalent character it increases from lanthanum to lutetium, thereby making us to understand that is LaOH thrice, that is. The lanthanum hydroxide is more basic compared to that of the lutetium hydroxide. The reason behind is also that is Fajan's principle. That is what we know, and according to Fajan's principle, it has been found that is if the cationic size is more, then it will be very much easier for that cation to leave its opposite ion, and thereby making this to be having more basic nature. So therefore, this is more basic, while this is less basic. And that's the reason the first effect was a decrease in the basicity, and this is the reason behind that. So now let us talk about the next one. So friends, now let me talk about the second effect, and the second effect is ionic radii of the post lanthanides. So in fact, they are also been affected. So based on that, let me give a certain idea. That is, suppose friends, if I'm talking about the atomic size, and that is from for scandium to ytterbium, and from ytterbium to lanthanum. So we can see that is there is not a gradual. Change in the atomic size. Obviously, there is a more difference between this scandium and this, that is, lutetium. This scandium and ytterbium, as well as that is lanthanum. The reason behind that is, as we move, that is up to down, that is along a group, then we can find that is there is an increase in the atomic number, and thereby the number of shell also increases, and thereby we can say that is the atomic size also increases. So here, basically, we can find that is. From scandium to ytterbium, obviously the atomic size increases, and from ytterbium to lanthanum also there is the increase in the atomic size. So similarly, we can also apply it for the group four. So we can say that is the titanium will have a smaller atomic size compared to that of the zirconium, and zirconium will have a that is obviously it will have a bigger atomic size compared to that of titanium. But when we compare it with hafnium. But when we compare it with hafnium, so it is been found that is the size or the atomic size of hafnium and zirconium, they don't have that much of that is difference between them. This is all because of the lanthanide contraction. And based on that, let me give you a certain idea that is why the atomic size or the ionic size of zirconium and and hafnium is almost the same, and there is no increase in the atomic size here. So this is what I am going to talk about with the help of this data. And now let us understand this one. So friends, in the previous topic, we have understood the lanthanide contraction. And suppose if I am talking about the group four, and along that, suppose if this is known as the three D series elements, this is four D series element, and this is five D series element. So suppose if we come down to the group that is from titanium to hafnium, then obviously we understand that is the atomic size it should goes on increasing. So that's the reason that the titanium has an atomic size of one thirty two, for zirconium it is one forty five, but for 
hofnium that is hf it has been found to be 144 so why there is not increase in the atomic size this is because before hafnium it comes the lanthanoid and that lanthanoid is nothing but it belongs to the lanthanoid series and all those lanthanoid series that are basically present on the sixth period and the third group they have a lanthanoid contraction and because of that effect they have also effect on the atomic size of hafnium and that's the reason that the atomic size of hafnium also decreases and thereby we can say that this the zirconium and hafnium will have almost the same size and there is no increase or there is no that much of difference between the atomic size of zirconium and hafnium so similarly if we can observe for the vanadium also that is for vanadium that is belonging to the third that is 3d series and talking about that is niobium so niobium it belongs to that is the 4d series so there is a difference that is what we can see that is this is 122 and this is 134 picometer in atomic size but after that it is that is thallium after that it is tantalum so tantalum has an atomic size of that is 134 so here basically we can see that is there is no and in fact they have the same atomic size so even this is applicable for molybdenum as well as tungsten over here so therefore this is all that is the effect of the lanthanide contraction and that makes to be applicable for the post lanthanides also so therefore there is an effect on the ionic size of the post lanthanides so therefore this is the second one that is what i was talking about and now let us move on to the next effect so the next effect is similarity among the lanthanides we understand that is there is no appreciable change in the atomic size for the lanthanides and that's the reason that because of all the atomic size are almost the same and obviously they have a difference of that is 10 picometer which is not that much so that's the reason that all the lanthanides have almost the same property and to differentiate them suppose if we have obtained those metals and to differentiate it is very much difficult because they have the same atomic size almost the same atomic size and they all have the same properties also and that's the reason it is very much difficult to separate them and that is nothing but the similarity among the lanthanides so therefore this all is due to the lanthanoid contraction and this is the effect of it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ikra channel thank you so much